Let's enjoy these low 60s just for a brief spell because it all comes crashing down. You know it would. Storm Tracker 4 looking at rain. Yeah, way too mild for any of the frozen stuff, but clipping right across northern Genesee and Lapeer counties without much in the way of force drawing it closer to downtown. We have a warm front that pushed through this morning and certainly sparks a little more moisture or shower chances in the area, but it's the cold front that will be the spark for the showers. Well, I've never been to London, England, but I've been to London, Ontario. So there's that. This looks a little like the London Bridge. We've got the low clouds and fog, the Ambassador Bridge and the Detroit River. Temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s and those winds, pesky winds could shimmy and shake some of your holiday decorations. It's not a, a wild, wicked storm wind, but gusting 20 to 30, nothing to sneeze at. 62 today, maybe a little bit warmer than that. And between 3 and 10 p.m. are the hours that we need to watch. The more organized rain moving from the northwest through Metro Detroit, southeast out of the area later tonight. Around midnight, we should start to see things drying up. And then the cool pool of air is back into play tomorrow. West winds are going to start cranking. And what does that mean? Well, the lake effect machine uh, will get going tomorrow with some snow shower potential. Yes. Here's a look at the wide shot. And again, our warm front has already come through, so everything underneath that is on the warm side. It's the cold front that will organize these bands of showers and come through this afternoon and evening. And then the cool pool comes into play. Let's show you a couple of different computer models. One from around 3, 4 o'clock, and you can see a little more organization to these showers coming through. Again, not expecting anything wild or crazy, but a difficult evening drive and could be cool enough overnight in spots, even though not much wet weather left. We need to watch out early Thursday for some slippery spots. And then how about this? We're getting into some bands of snow on Thursday afternoon. Luckily, we clear it out a little bit Thursday night, early Friday. That will drop our temps, but we have a lunar eclipse Friday morning, about 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. for good viewing there. 40s as good as it gets Friday, Saturday, even Sunday. And we do have rain, Rhonda, Sunday afternoon changes to snow early Monday.